Hi there. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jay Zebart with Plant Based for Life. This morning I'm just going to do um, a really quick basic video about what is plant based and specifically what is whole food plant based. So when we are thinking about transitioning to a plant based diet, we have a reason for it. And the reason is, is typically we want to get healthier. Um, there are lots of ways to lose weight, not of many of them are very healthy, but when we choose to fuel our bodies with the best sources of fuel, then um, we tend to have the healthy side effect of weight loss if you need to lose weight. And we also have the nourishment that whole food plant-based foods give us. So what are whole food plant-based? What are those foods? So basically it's anything that grows from the ground that's edible. So we're talking um, vegetables, of course, fruits, nuts, seeds, beans, anything that grows from the ground that's edible, that is what plant-based eating is. Now, people say, well, um, I'm 90% plant-based or um, I do my best to um, be plant-based, that is to base my foods on plants and incorporate other things, and that's fine. You have to decide for you what your health goals are. So when we're talking about strictly whole food plant-based, we are talking about fruits and vegetables, um, beans, nuts, and seeds that grow and eating them as close to the way they grew as possible. So we want to alter things as little as possible. Obviously some things need to be cooked. Um, some things we can't eat the peel, but if you can, you should because um, nutrients tend to gravitate to the outside of fruits and vegetables and so eating that peel um, or getting as close to that peel as possible will give you the best nourishment there. Um, also added fiber. So anytime that you change a plant-based food, um, that is processing. So if I take an apple, that's a whole food plant-based whole food plant-based food. If I consume the apple just as it is, that is a whole food. If I cut it into quarters and then eat it, I have processed that food. So like many things, um, processing is on a spectrum. So we want to get it as close to the way it grew as possible and that will give you the most nutrients and um, the most benefits from those foods. So do we have to be perfect? This is the question that is um, on a lot of people's minds. Um, can I have a little bit of this? Can I have a little bit of that? Well, it really depends on your health goals. If you already have some sort of a diagnosis that you're trying to heal through plant-based eating, then um, you might want to stick to it a little bit more rigorously. Um, if your general goal is just to feel a little bit better, then you know take what you do and add some plant-based foods to that and you will likely feel better. Um, you get out of it what you put in, um, like a lot of things in life. So do your best, um, transition the way that feels the best for you. I'm going to be doing some videos on transitioning, giving you lots of different ideas. Um, it's really, really important to realize that not, um, one thing is not going to work for everybody. Everybody has, uh, different damage they've done to their bodies. We've all done damage. Um, everybody has different genetics. Everybody has different likes and dislikes, and everybody has different um, time availability. And so we need to figure out what is going to work best for us. And I really want to help you with that. And so that is it for today. I want to thank you so much for listening. And um, again, I am Jay Zebart with Plant Based for Life.